I'm gonna give you three key reasons why you should use variations in your Olympic weightlifting program, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from Garagestrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn how to be an explosive freak, you wanna get stronger and you want to be faster and become a more proficient weightlifter, make sure that you like, subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a champion. So for the last 10 years here at Garage Strength, we've had Olympic weightlifters make international teams representing Team USA at the youth, junior, and senior level at every single competition from the Pan American Championships all the way to the World Championships at every single level and a lot of this success can be attributed to the way that we program the way we use our parabolic periodization scheme the way that we developed our athletes from day one and a lot of our influences have come from weightlifters like norik vardanian who have had a positive impact on the development of our training system and a lot of coaches tend to ask us these questions is, why do we use so many variations in Olympic weightlifting? Why do we love variations at Garage Strength? And first, it's important to recognize what are the three key elements behind weightlifting? We know that we've gotta get stronger. That's simple. We know we're trying to move a lot of weight. You've gotta be strong. We know, secondly, that you need to have very good technique. The more precise our technique is, the better we can move, the more we can lift. Third, we know we have to have mobility. If we have good mobility in our hips, we can get a deeper position in our catch. If we have good mobility in our shoulders and our ankles, we can get to a deeper position in our catch that's also stable. So we know that weightlifting is all about technique, strength, and mobility. So what does this have to do with variations? Let's dive right into that first reason why we like to use variations. First, variations help our athletes create more means of adaptation in the realm of sports performance in high performance sport in general across all athletics weightlifting strength training resistance training whatever you want to call it it's about adaptation if we see something in the weight room that needs to happen as coaches we need to force an adaptation. So the benefit of variations is that you can get adaptations, you can stimulate the body a little differently than you otherwise would if you just continue to utilize traditional movements like the snatch, like the clean and jerk. And the other aspect of these adaptations is that if you constantly are using snatch and clean and jerk over and over and over again, you're gonna lead to the adaptations that eventually will lead to overuse injuries. Variations can create more adaptations that can prevent overuse injuries and lead to long-term adaptations that you otherwise wouldn't be capable of achieving. That second key reason that we like to utilize variations is for technical learning. So technical learning is a way that we like to recognize and to teach our weightlifters how to execute the movements precisely. If we can constantly throw different technical movements at our weightlifters, now they start to have a technical mindset. They start to realize that to lift a lot of weight, they've got to have a technical mindset and a technical approach. It's important to have rage and aggression and all these things, but it's more important to enhance technical literacy. It's more important to improve our movement vocabulary. So as weightlifting coaches, we've got to stimulate a whole bunch of technical learning by throwing a bunch of different variations at our athletes and seeing which variation our athletes grow the most from. That final reason why we love to utilize variations is that it forces feeling. It can stimulate a different feeling for the athlete. If we're gonna use snatches and clean and jerks over and over again, think about the Bulgarian system. When you're constantly doing the same exercises over and over and over again, your body has already created those defense mechanisms. Your body has already adapted to snatches. Your body has already adapted to clean and jerks. So you actually start to lose 
feeling of technique. You start to do very weird things in your movements. You start to jump backwards on one side. You start to do weird habits because you aren't having the same feelings that you had previously when you first learned these movements. And that's where variations come into play. If we can use variations in different types of snatches and different types of cleans, now we're gonna force a different feeling and then as a coach, it's very, very important to educate our weightlifter on what that feeling is and how they can transfer that feeling of a power snatch, that feeling of a low hang snatch, that feeling of a block clean, and how we can transfer that over to the main competitive lifts. And now the athlete has a deeper well of feeling, they have a deeper understanding of technique, and we've created more adaptations. So try to utilize variations inside your programming. If you need help around programming or around training in general, you can head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our parabolic periodization program, or you can pick up a program that will help you with training. If you want more information about Olympic weightlifting, click on this link right here. Until next time, guys, peace.